So hi everyone, today we'll be talking about finger picks. I am a guitar player and as uh, many of us I cannot grow my nails. Uh, in my case it's because of my job, I have to keep my nails short and tidy, so I have to use uh, finger picks. Uh, we have a vast selection here, we are gonna be trying them on and uh, we'll be playing with them and uh, trying to understand what's good and bad about them. We'll be trying uh, this Dunlop metal picks here, uh, this Dunlop uh, plastic picks, Alaska picks, and then uh, butterfly picks. These are the original ones, these are homemade. Then we have this uh, no branded uh, plastic finger picks, and finally the Fred Kelly finger picks. So, yeah, this is going to be a long video and uh, we better get started. Okay, so we are gonna start with the Dunlop metal picks. This is the way you wear them and this is how they sound. Okay, so what can I say? I like them. These are the first. Uh, this is the first kind of finger picks I tried, and uh, I've been playing a long time with them. So you have to get used to them because they is it's just completely different from uh, playing with your finger fingertips. But yeah, I like them, and they don't fall, which is a great thing. So let's move on with this Dunlop plastic picks. Now this, I'm not sure about them, but I'm sure that if you if you get used to it, to them, they they work, they can work. But I don't know, uh, they are so long and um, it's it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard, hard to make them fit correctly. If you notice, the first one is uh, as a different band compared uh, to the second one that's because I've been using a lighter to to bend it a bit more and uh, I find this is better but still uh, definitely not my best choice So what can I say, they have a better sound, I prefer this sound compared to that one because this is a bit uh, warmer, but they don't have the same, uh, the same, uh, they don't feel that comfortable on your fingers. I know that many people use them though, but uh, okay, this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to try the Alaska Picks now. I have a pair of uh, brand new Alaska Picks. And I really have no nails right now. You may know that you need a bit of nail to use Alaska picks because this is the way the way you wear them. You stick them underneath your nail, and uh, so that they don't move. So these are brand new. You're not supposed to use them brand new, but later on we'll be trying a, um, another another pair of them, which is heavily heavily modified. And uh, you will notice a different sound now. Uh, so, okay, so these are much softer and uh, I like them, uh, these, uh, these are large, yeah you can buy them in different size, 
Um, what can I say? I like them, but you should know one thing about Alaska pigs that they don't really tell you is that you have to you have to change them quite often, like say once a month, because they wear out very easily. Um, so yeah, they are all right. They are all right. Um, and then I'm gonna be playing with this heavily modified Alaska pigs. Uh, I think these are better. Uh, if you notice, they are much shorter here. I've been filing them so that when I play, I touch the string with my fingertip and uh, and also with the pick. And the sound you get from it is pretty good in my opinion. And uh, the only problem is that these are a bit old and uh, they don't really they don't really stick to your finger anymore. Okay, this that was it for the Alaska finger picks. And, uh, you know, I I just uh, want to say, you know, you should just try them on. I've been trying so many of those right now. And uh, I probably haven't decided yet the, the ones I want to keep using. But uh, this is what you have to do after all. You just have to try them. Um, I'm going to play now with this uh, no brand, Anonymous. Uh, plastic finger picks that I must say I like and um, there's one thing I don't like about them which is the sound they are really very very noisy I don't know but uh, they wear they are very well they are comfortable and um, they don't sleep uh, I don't know I, I, I really like these ones But yeah, uh, you might have noticed that I I was able to play with a better flow here using these ones, and um, I think the real problem about them is really the sound, especially when you're trying to play two strings uh, two strings which are close each other. It's very it's very difficult because they are you know very clumsy. They are bulky. Uh, if you uh, listen to this. Okay. It's very easy so far, but when you have to do stuff like, um, I don't know, this one. You see, I have to play uh, this, the first two strings together and uh, I have to hold my fingers uh, one on to the other and uh, they sleep, you know. And you don't feel the fingers uh, touching each other so it can, it can be very confusing. But you have this kind of problem with... Uh, you have this specific problem with uh, almost every finger pick I tried. Okay, let's move on. We have three more. We have butterfly picks. These are not very popular. These have uh, been around only for a uh, few years, I guess. But uh, they're really nice. They definitely are nice. Um, not many people like them, but I do, I must say. And uh, I really like the sound, uh, the sound of these ones. Okay, uh, 
so I like them. You should try them. But I have to tell you about one thing. Um, you have again the problem that when the two fingers touch each other, they gonna be sticking, literally, and so they can fall off, which is very annoying. And uh, another thing which I noticed only a few weeks uh, later I was using them is that they get your fingers really dirty because uh, they are made of, uh, I don't know, brass, I think. But they lose, uh, they lose uh, powder, something, and your finger gets, uh, can get quite dirty, so you just have to clean them. And another thing you should know about them is that these things are not really cheap considering they're just made of metal. So you can make them by yourself. Just like homemade using a regular uh, metal wire or something. And uh, you can make thousands of them. It's going to be really, really cheap of course. And uh, you can get different sounds from them. These uh, picks the original butterfly picks are a bit like the Dunlop metal picks being made of metal. Uh, they have this, uh, you know, this kind of sound uh, which you get uh, when you use metal or metal string. And um, I'm not a big fan of, of it, I must say. But some people might like it though. Um, so these are my homemade butterfly picks. gonna be trying the last panel picks and uh, these are the Fred Kelly Freedom picks. These are very different from all the others. This is the way you wear them. Uh, at first uh, they really sound really bad. They are so big, heavy, bulky and uh, even the sound is not really that bright. Considering it's such a hard material and thick as well so uh, you might be disappointed at the beginning but then you start appreciating them uh, one thing I like about these picks is that uh, it's a feeling really they you feel like you wanna play you feel like you wanna um, experience new way of playing your guitar because um, they sound very different if you play them uh, just like that or like that. So you have a whole range of sound you can get from them. And I'm still getting used to them, but the the start was really good. I hope that helped and um, yeah as I said before I probably haven't haven't really chosen a pair of picks I want to stick to but um, you just have to keep trying and uh, keep uh, keep uh, watching and what's on the what's on the news really about finger picks so yeah that was it have a good one